So today with us we have a 3D printed speed jet. It's an 8S jet boat, completely 3D printed, made by Vesta Designs. Vesta Designs provided the SDL files for us, so uh, shout out to them. I'm gonna link them down below if you guys wanna 3D print this boat yourself. But it is an awesome 3D printed jet boat that uses the MJet 35 by MJet Development. We've already used this pump in multiple other projects, which turned out very good. So I definitely don't have a doubt that this boat is gonna do very well. Uh, but this is the first time we're gonna test it. And we're also gonna put a GoPro onto the boat and kind of watch it go around. This jet boat will be running on two Ovonic 4S batteries. It is powered by a Hobbywing 160 amp ESC with a Rocket 2200 KV motor. All right, here's what we got. Here's the MJet 35 on the back of it right there. That is a jet pump with a two-stage impeller. It sucks in water through this port right here and spits it out through those nozzles right there. You can change the different nozzles on it to have different pitch and that kind of changes whether your boat rides wetter or drier. Uh, this is what we ran on the Valkyrie jet ski and a couple of other hauls that we tried out. This one right now is running a Hobbywing 160 amp ESC with a Rocket 2200 KV motor. Uh, the steering is done with a Hobby Park 35 kg all metal waterproof servo. And the receiver is all spectrum. So we're gonna power this thing with two Ovonic 6,000 milliamp 120C batteries and go see how it goes. I have, uh, I have this mount right here that we're gonna put a GoPro on it and take it out to the pond. All right guys, so I got the app pulled up and we're going to monitor how this boat is performing on here. We're gonna especially watch the ESC current and uh, temperatures, cause I don't wanna blow it up. And I really think that 2200 KV for this 8S might be a little bit too much. So this is something I really need to keep an eye on. Whoa, this thing is. Whoa. Oh my God, it skipped perfectly. I, I'm, I'm a little. Whoa, holy crap. Dude, the performance on this thing is nuts. Holy crap, let me. It's not connected for some reason. Wow, this thing moves. This thing moves way more than the other one we got. All right. Wow. That thing performs, holy crap. Whoa, man, this thing is impressive. Holy crap. Uh, I want to. I want to see uh, how how hot this thing is getting. All right. Let's see how hot this thing is. I bet it's hot as hell. The motor, not hot at all. 
The ESC is not hot at all. The batteries are slightly warm. So everything, you know what? The hottest part right now is these wires. Mm -hmm. These wires are hot, but the, but the batteries are not hot. The motor is not hot. So right now, right now everything seems okay. Oh All right. God. Right, dude, this thing oh. performs. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, all right. Whoa! <laughs> oh. I, I can't splash you guys. Whoa! Oh, I got me! <laughs> Did I hit you? Oh yeah, you got me. <laughs> oh, you got it in my mouth. Now that was kind of full bottle. That was a yeah. Weird. You guys see that stream that's coming out the back? That's the cooling line. This boat is all 3D printed and that's the performance. That's incredible. I am a little worried about the motor though. I feel like it needs a, a lower KV motor or maybe just a larger motor in general. Oh man, you got me good. Yeah. So that was that was half bottle. Should I do it again or should I not? Oh my god, that was terrible. It, it like sits like a it sits like a whole wave to us. I know. <laughs> oh well, that was so much water. That was that was that was, that was not even half, half, half water. <laughs> oh my god, that was so much water. I am drenched. <laughs> Me too. Oh my god. All right, so what, what we're doing is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some uh, fishing string around the actual boat because I'm afraid that these little tabs are gonna open up and our camera is gonna end up being at the bottom of the pond. We got our camera mounted. We got a fishing line going around it. Really hope it doesn't come off. Whoa, walk and roll. <laughs> Man, this thing moves. Well, I'm afraid to give it full throttle. So we are, we're gonna put a GPS, a Sky RC GPS unit on it and see how fast this thing actually goes. Music like is riding really low. You think it's the weight of the camera that's making it ride so low? No, I, I think it's like the batteries. Yeah, but it seems like it's riding a lot lower than it was yesterday. Where it had the same batteries. Crash, is it? Oh, you know what? That GoPro actually has GPS on it. So we should be able to see how fast it's going just from the GoPro GPS. Mm, that's cool. You better, you better not, please. <laughs> I stopped it. It's got pretty decent reverse. 
do not eat sweaties. Huh? Do not, do not eat sweaties. bring it in. Oh, I can't really see how hot it is because I can't open it because of the camera on there. Oh yeah. I want to I want to bring it close to those fountains over there. But if I bring it close to those fountains and something happens and we can't bring it back, that's going to be annoying. So I'm going to let it float for a minute and let it and let it cool off. And then I'm gonna bring it close to those fountains. This is uh, going to be a great two hours. No, we're gonna let it chill for just, just a few minutes. I know. It did really well on this on this trailer. That was actually really cool. I was really worried that it was just gonna slide right off. So what we did is we put a little bit of uh, double-sided tape over here and over there just to keep it from sliding and it actually held on very, very nicely. And then I, I put a hole in that lid obviously to mount the camera. So I printed another lid that does not have a hole in it for when we're not using the camera. But, all right, I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it over around the whole entire pond bring it past those uh fountains over there and then bring it around back over here so ah, that's gonna be full though yeah it's gonna be pretty far but it should be able to do it it's got a really long antenna so wait here, wait he's gonna like drive it along the whole thing i'm gonna drive it all the way around the whole entire pond and then bring it back <laughs> This boat is performing incredibly well. Uh, I would say out of all the boats that I have built so far, this is definitely the, the best. Yes, it is the most fun and the coolest combination that we have in it. Like I said, this thing has a Hobby Wing 160 amp uh, 8S ESC with a 2200 kV motor and uh, a 35 kg yeah, 35 kg Hobby Park Servo. Uh, and an uh, MJet 35 jet pump. It was, wait, wait, is that one the same one we use for a jet, jet ski? Yes, it is the same one that we use for the Valkyrie jet ski. The main difference being is that the jet ski is only running on 4S, while this right now is currently running on 8S. Uh, so we're gonna put the Sky RC unit inside of a bag so it doesn't get wet. Uh, this is actually my second one, the first one that I tried doing on the boat. Uh, my one lap around, it got wet and I never even got to read the speed. So this is our second unit and it's gonna be protected in this bag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one lap around the whole thing. I'm gonna try to give it full throttle multiple times and get it to go as fast as it can. And then we're just gonna take one reading 
and see how fast it went. And that's it. That, by that point, these batteries should already be pretty well worn down. All right, so we got our GPS in there. Toss it back in the water. And I'm gonna open it up on my phone. It's testing. We got six GPS units. Should I, should I have some Let's, uh, fun. Let's uh. Okay, it's time to have some fun. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, that thing is good one, skipping like crazy. Yeah, I can't do it full throttle. When I give it full throttle, it like goes crazy. All right, guys, so the boat flipped, Heck yeah. and since we have the camera on it, it's very top heavy, so it's just going to be flipped. Uh, there's no way that it's going to flip back over. Uh, it does have a self-writing feature, but with, with that camera being on top, there is just no way that it's going to flip over. So we're going to have to just wait for it and you see which way the water is blowing in that direction so it's gonna slowly make its way down over there and we're gonna have to grab it on on the side over there but at this point it's just it's gonna be a probably a half hour 45 minute waiting game until it flips back until it makes its way down over there so about 45 minutes later the boat made its way all the way from that side of the pond to this side of the pond. So hopefully I got some good underwater footage with this thing. Um, see the, the camera stay on? Camera is off at this point. Let's see. I wonder if it overheated. Turned itself off. Oh, it ran out of battery. So. It says it stayed on for a good while until it ran out, so cool. I should have some decent underwater footage. All right, so let's see what we did over here. We stop, breathe. 29 miles an hour is the fastest we got. Not bad. That's kind of what I thought it was gonna be at around 35, 30 to 35. Docked. So this boat performed very well. Uh, definitely the coolest boat that I have. Um, if you guys want to print this boat, I'll have the links down in the description. Again, thank you to Vesta Designs and MJet Development. Uh, I'll link the MJet uh, pump in the description and I'll link this boat and other boats that are compatible with that pump in the description. rcprinter.com, they have a kit for everything that you need for the pump itself, all the hardware for the boat and everything there. I'll also link that down in the description. So thank you for watching Speed Boost RC. Like and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.